Hello and welcome to today's SimpliGon tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to find good settings for our billboard cloud pipeline. This is the asset we're going to optimize. It's a bridge asset and it's around 11,000 triangles. This asset is pretty tricky to get down to a low triangle count. So let's show what happens if we try to do it with ordinary triangle reduction. So we're going to add a lot component, a basic reduction. Let's start by going down to half of our triangle count. So after optimization we can see that our asset still looks pretty good. We're now down at around 5000 triangles and uh, this would be well suitable for an intermediary uh, load level. But let's go down even further. Let's go down to 1000 triangles. Here at 1000 triangles we can see that our asset is starting to fall apart. We have gaps in, uh, in the larger parts and our smaller uh, parts looks a little bit weird. Uh, but it may be work if we have it really really far away in the distance. But up closer we're gonna see that something is wrong with it. Uh, we can try to go down in even further. So now we're going to go down to only 5% of our original triangle count. And here we can see that the asset is very very broken. We're down at around 500 triangles and well this load level is not really usable for us. When assets start to fall apart from the reducer we often suggest that people should try our remesher. So let's try that for our asset. So we're going to add a new load component and we're going to add remeshing with material baking. Uh, our material baking is already set up per default since it can detect uh, which channel our material uses. So we have a, no a normal color caster for our base color, one for our metallic and one for normal. E even if we wouldn't have a normal map, we always suggest add a normal caster when doing uh, an imposter. So let's try at a screen size of 100. At a screen size of 100, we get a remeshed asset that's around 1000 triangles. Uh, it is better kept together than our reduced one, but it doesn't look that well. Uh, it looks a bit bloated. We can see that all of these thin metal uh, fence parts have become much larger. And uh, yeah, uh, we can notice this bloatedness even if we look at it from afar. Uh, we can also try to create uh, an even uh, even uh, lower uh, resolution remeshing, so we specify on screen size 45. At this, um, we have a proxy of around 500 triangles, but we can really see what the remesher is doing to our asset. We can see that it much bloats the silhouette of it, as well as we have all of these black spots on it. So. In these black spots it's places where we don't have any underlying geometry where we can uh, perform uh, uh, material casting from. It would be possible to render this proxy using uh, alpha and then use alpha clipping to take away these dark spots but it will not look good. So instead of reduction or remeshing we're gonna try the third option and that is we're going to try to use Billboard Cloud. So we're gonna add a new load 
component by clicking add load component and then we're going to go to advanced and then billboard cloud. Uh, we can see that we also got our color casters automatically added. So we have a base color caster, a metallic color caster and a normal caster. Similar to with remeshing we always should suggest to add a normal caster. If we look under billboard cloud settings uh, we can see the, the three settings that are of most interest to us. We have billboard density, max plane count and geometric complexity. Uh, we suggest to always set max plane count to a quite high number. That will give the billboard cloud pipeline more flexibility on how it uh, chooses to create your planes. So you will in most cases get a better looking asset. We can also change the texture resolution by going into mapping image settings, output material settings, and here we're going to increase it to 2048. We are going to start by creating a billboard of 0.2 in density. After optimization, we have our uh, proxy and it's at around 80 triangles. So this one is much more lower density than this one that's at around, well, over five times that amount. Um, if we look at it from afar, we can see that, yeah, it sort of uh, is similar to our uh, original uh, asset. Uh, but up close we can see that uh, it's a little bit too simple uh, for our taste. So what we're going to do is that we're going to increase uh, the billboard density. So here we have uh, our resulting uh, proxy. It's around uh, 300 tri triangles and uh, so it's much more uh, lower in triangle count than our previous proxies but if we look at it we can see that it looks much better than uh, those uh, other ones. If we zoom in on it a little bit we can see that we uh, we still have some uh, interesting uh, artifacts going on uh, so we can try to generate an even denser uh, billboard for it. So we're gonna go for a billboard density of uh, 0 0.8. And here is our uh, proxy at 0 0.8. We have around 1. Point, uh, uh, or 1,500 triangles in this one. So it's comparable to these uh, proxy qualities. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good uh, when we look at it. It looks much better than our reduced one, for instance. So if I would were to pick um, um, a lot level uh, comparing uh, these billboard imposters, I would probably pick this one because uh, around 300 uh, triangle uh, uh, triangles uh, would be uh, make a pretty good proxy for uh, this uh, distance. Uh, this one is a little bit too high and this one is a little bit too simple, uh, but it depends on what your needs are. Uh, I can also showcase that uh, geometric complexity is something that allows you to trade overdraw compared to uh, triangle count. So if we look at the solid geometry uh, for this, we can see that uh, uh, our billboard go goes outside of uh, where we actually have uh, textures and we can control that by geometric complexity. 
So let's try to do that. We're gonna use billboard density 0 0.5 and then we're gonna try to create one with quite low geometric complexity, so only 0 0.2. And our geometric uh, complexity of 0 0.2 gives us around 270 triangles, which is uh, lower than this that's it at uh, 330. We can also try to create one with increased uh, geometric complexity. This one with increased geometric complexity has a triangle count of around 1000. But as we can see, if we look into uh, the solid part, this one has way less overdraw than uh, this one. So it's up to you to decide if overdraw or triangle count is the worst offender in your game. Now let's tie this all together by creating a full log chain for this bridge asset. Uh, we're gonna f start by a series of reduction pipelines. So our first will be a 50% reduction. So it will be basically this uh, level of optimization. We're gonna add a cascaded pipeline to this. Uh, so uh, that means that we are going to perform another operation on this log level. Uh, and we're going to do another 50% reduction. So we can expect our assets to be down at 25% of the original triangle count. Uh, after that, we know that our asset is going to start to break apart. So then it's time to do our billboard uh, pipeline. We're gonna add this as a new load component, not as a cascaded one. And that means that we will work with the original data uh, for our proxy. And for proxies and imposter, this is mostly the best idea. Uh, so we're gonna add an advanced billboard cloud. In our billboard cloud, we're gonna specify that uh, the max density will be 0 0.5, which uh, will give us this quality level. And then max plane count will be 50, so it has good freedom to pick the good planes. Uh, we could uh, also increase output texture size, but let's try to leave it at 1000 for now. So let's try to process it. Okay, let's inspect our LOD levels. Here is LOD1 at around 5,000 triangles. Here is LOD2 at around uh, 3,000 triangles. And here is our proxy at our, around 300 triangles. So uh, that was all for today. I hope that you've learned something new. If you want more tutorials uh, for Simplygon, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.